This week, you have the chance to show that volunteer spirit and roll up your sleeve, all for a good cause. Starting today, WAT 6 on your side, teaming up with Medic Regional Blood Center, Star 102.1, and Food City for our annual Roll Up Your Sleeve Blood Drive. New here at 4, WAT 6 on your side reporter Whitney Good shows us why getting donors this time of year is so important for Medic. We are teaming up with Medic Regional Blood Center this week for the annual Roll Up Your Sleeve Blood Drive. It's a really important time of year for Medic, and I'm here with Trina McMahon from Medic to talk to us a little bit about that and why it's so important for you guys. Yeah, um, this blood drive is important because we're really feeling the effects of Christmas and New Year's and our, our donations being down. Uh, so this week is to build up our blood supply again and get the community excited about donating blood. Absolutely. In past years, have you seen really good turnouts from this? We do. We have a really good turnout. We have a really good relationship with Food City. We want to make sure we thank them. Um, we're going to be at a lot of Food City locations this week, uh, and they're going to be giving each one donor at each location a $25 gift card. So we're going to do a drawing at every location. And then at the end of the week, they're going to give out Food City 500 tickets to one lucky donor. We're really excited about that. So. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will be really looking forward to that. And we were talking about how O negative, you're really in need for O negative donors right now, and that's really important too. It is really important. Um, ONEG is just, there's, it's the smallest amount of donors, it's the, the least common blood type, but we need it the most at our hospitals. Uh, hospitals like UT, uh, they, that's the first one they grab on the shelf, and we really need um, people to step up if they're O-negative donors and donate this week. We, we just have a really low supply right definitely, now. Definitely. Yeah. If people want to come out and donate, what do they need to do? How easy is it? Um, the easiest place to start is our website, um, www.medicblood.org. Can, they'll answer some questions about eligibility on there, has a list of locations where we're going to be, um, that kind of thing. But really just eat a big meal. Make sure you come in with some food in your belly and, you know, some drink a big glass of water before you come in and then they'll they'll give you snacks when you leave too so we just want to make sure you're hydrated and have eaten properly before you come in and they'll ask a couple questions and it's really a quick process perfect yeah. sounds good well there are plenty of locations all week long to donate including starting today we've got all of those on our website wate.com for now in hardin valley whitney good wate six on your side all right, Whitney, thank you so much. Whitney said there are a lot of locations. There are 25, in fact, Food City locations where you can donate this week. We'll also be holding a drive here at our studios later in the week. Uh, we have the full list on our website, WATE.com, under the As Seen On section. So be sure to check it out. We need you. Bo?